Welcome to mail vlog number seven. Look at all the stuff you guys got us. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of stuff. This first one's from Curtis, and it's from Toronto. He says that he's new to our channel. He thinks we're a rare gem. That's awesome. That's like a fun thing to say, that we're a rare gem. He also wants Universal to create a uh, Harry Potter exhibit that has animatronic dementors that come out to patrons. Well, Curtis, uh, you're in luck because that's how Forbidden Journey is. They actually have a couple of dementors that are not in use because when JK first wrote it, she thought that it was a little bit too scary for her core demographics. If you're writing and you look real carefully, you can still see them there. So awesome. Thank you very much for the postcard, Curtis. I kind of want to visit Toronto. It looks really neat. This next postcard is from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium and it has a polar bear on it. Do we have polar bears anywhere? In Florida? Yeah, um, like, yeah at at SeaWorld. World? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yay! This one is from Patascala, Ohio. I'm probably not saying that right. This one comes from Shelly, Justin, and Sophie, and they found our channel while they were researching Disney and Universal videos. Oh, and now they watch daily with their seven-year-old daughter. Yay, thank you so much for watching the channel. And the cool thing about this postcard is that it says that the polar bear can stand 12 feet tall on its hind legs, and a male can weigh more than 1,700 pounds. Whoa. Thank you so much, Shelly, Justin, and Sophie. This next card is from Leanne and family. It says that they are from Lincolnshire in England, and I wanted to ask you about that because this just says City of Lincoln. Is City of Lincoln and Lincolnshire the same thing? Like, it's just a different way of saying City of Lincoln? That's real quick question there. Been watching our videos for a few months because they're getting ready to come to Orlando, and they said that they're super excited because they saw our Diagon Alley videos, and they're so excited to see it in person. I'll tell you what. Videos do not do it justice. Oh, and they wanted to know if our wand was a character wand. No, it's not. It is a wand that picked me based on our anniversary. So it's uh, special to us. It picked us. Anyways, thank you, Leanne and family. Thank you guys very much. This is awesome. So this next one comes from the unofficial Lego Museum, but I'm not sure where the unofficial Lego Museum is because Colin, who sent this postcard, wrote the postcard and mailed it from West Virginia, but actually lives in Phoenix. So I don't know if the Lego Museum is in Phoenix or West Virginia, I'm not really sure, but it's really cool that they have an unofficial Lego Museum. And this is a picture of Sheriff Bart, and I guess outside of this picture is like an imprisoned mill house somewhere. Um, so that's pretty funny that they have that. And he also said to say hi to Bandit and Armani. So hi Bandit and Armani from Colin. Thanks so much for sending this postcard, it's awesome. This next one's from Cameron, and they sent us a postcard, and they've actually already sent us one before, it's one of those Postgram postcards, but this time, they put their puppy, Bailey, on there, who's a seven-year-old golden retriever. Cameron says that they're planning on writing us a letter soon, and to keep a lookout on that, so awesome. Thank you very much, Cameron. We will be on the lookout for your letter. Ooh, this next one is spooky. It says, which you were here. From greeting from Salem, Massachusetts, where the Salem witch trials happened. And on the back, it doesn't say who it's from, it just says the season of the witch approaches, dot dot dot. So that's kind of creepy. Um, but I really like this postcard, that's fun. It says, Salem, Massachusetts was first settled in 1629. It's one of the oldest towns in America. It's the famous witch trials of 1692 that resulted in the hanging of 19 people gave the city its nickname, Witch City. Oh. Thank you so much for sending this postcard, whoever you are. <laughs> this next one's from Cassidy, and these are her in the pictures, and her little puppy. And she says that she lives in Florida, and she's a dancer, and her dogs Candy and Callie say hi. She also loves Harry Potter. Awesome! Thank you for sending us a postcard, Cassidy. Is that her wearing Hermione's dress? Uh, it kind of looks like that is her wearing Hermione's dress. Oh. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Thank you very much, Cassidy. This next one comes all the way from Disneyland. This is really cute. I like this a lot, actually. This is a good postcard. This is from Marcy. She was in Disneyland today to celebrate its 59th anniversary, and she thought it would be fun to send us a postcard directly from Disneyland, which that is very fun. Thank you. She loves our videos, and she says we're very entertaining to watch. Thank you so much, Marcy. We really appreciate you sending us this awesome postcard. Thanks. This next one is from our friends, Jonathan Root and Bill Berry. They are from Rootberry, youtube.com slash Rootberry or Rootberry.com. They do college shows, juggling shows, comedy shows with three Guinness records and five world championships. It's no wonder the San Diego Union Tribune said possibly the best variety act on the planet. Reno Magazine calls it the Blue Man Group meets X Games. Prepare for an action-packed comedy stunt show with a little juggling, a little sword swallowing, and a lot of surprises. So if you guys want to go check them out, 
rootberry.com. They also are, are available for booking. And you can email them at rootberry at gmail.com. Thank you, Jonathan and Bill. This is like the most colorful postcard that we've gotten. That's pretty fun. This one comes from Helena and she says, I'm guessing this is your first postcard from Portugal and it probably is. I actually don't know. Is it? Yeah. Okay, awesome. You, have, you are the first to send us a postcard from Portugal. Thank you so much. Uh, it says that she lives near Lisbon. She said, but after, but after watching our videos, she wants to move to Orlando. Um, that's awesome. Orlando is very fun. You should definitely move here. So she stumbled across our channel when they were searching for theme park videos because she and Andre are going to be coming in October. And I hope you guys are going to Halloween Horror Nights because it is very fun. Or not so scary at Disney because that is also very fun. She says that she hopes she gets to meet us to say hi. And she says you look like the nicest people. And that is so nice. Thank you. That's like a really nice thing to say. Thank you so much for sending an awesome postcard from Portugal. This next one's from Joe from Ohio. She found us through the video where we went to the Simpsons Fast Food Boulevard and ate the giant donut. Yeah. That donut was so delicious. Yum. Uh, and she loves my mustache. Well, thank you very much, Joey. And then she also said that she got to ride the Simpsons ride the last time that she came to Orlando and she rode it with her grandparents, but not her mom because her mom gets motion sickness. And then she says she likes watching the videos because they bring back great memories of when she's been to Orlando. She gave us a little, she drew us a little picture of a bat. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much, Joey. This next fun card is from Taylor. She's been watching our videos for about two years. Um, she looks forward to new videos every day. She lives in a town 40 miles north of New York City. That's exciting. Like, how long? 40 miles is what, like an hour? Yep. That'd be so awesome to live an hour away from New York City. I would like that. She just graduated. She got a bachelor's degree in musical theater. That's exciting. So enclosed, she sent us a Tony Award magnet honoring this year's Tonys. And she said it was one of the last ones remaining. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait to put that on the fridge. She says, Jen, I don't know if you remember, but we discussed the dying pig on The Walking Dead. And I do remember that. That episode was pretty sad. <laughs> but I do remember talking to you. She says, Oh, she hopes to meet us both the next time she comes to Orlando. All the best. Thank you so much, Taylor. And thank you for the magnet. It'll go on the fridge tonight. This next one is from Kayla. Seriously, this card is amazing. She says, hello, my name is Kayla and I've been following your videos for a few months now. She found us through looking up Universal things and she's been hooked ever since. Aww. She says that she finds that every video that we make is interesting, which that makes me feel really good because sometimes I need like an extra pick me up saying like, ah, you're doing good, Tim, you know, like, hey. So thank you very much, Kayla. And she says, the car that we're holding has Bowie on the cover, and she thinks that it was made in the 80s. It uh, looks the front, like it was. The front, was uh, the front cover, this design was by George Underwood, who was a friend of Bowie's, and uh, he punched Bowie in the eye. What? And that's what gave Bowie this weird, like, kind of like how he's like this on his left eye there. Can you guys see that? And she says that she's kind of a Bowie expert and she has a Bowie tattoo. Oh, wow. Uh, she's actually, she says I got my first Bowie tattoo two years ago. So I'm wondering if she has more than one Bowie tattoo. That's pretty cool. But then she says she likes my, she loves my tattoos, but I need some Bowie. Oh yeah. So I have a, a robot arm. Should I get a robot David Bowie tattoo? I don't know how you would do that. I don't either, but <laughs> it sounds awesome. Yeah. And then she says, please expect a package from me within a few weeks. You guys don't ever have to send us packages. Yeah. These things are way cool. So thank you very much, Kayla. So this next letter is from Steve, Lindsay, and Lottie. And they actually already sent us a package, which we really appreciate. Thank you guys so much. And this letter is really cool because they kind of gave us uh, more information about them. So now we know them a little bit better, which is awesome. So uh, basically, Steve works for British Airways. He is married to Lindsay who is, was a hairstylist, but now works with preschool children. They've been married for 22 years, which is also really cool. And their anniversary is really close to our anniversary, which is exciting. They have a daughter, Charlotte, who goes by Lottie, which is cool, I like that. That's a fun nickname. Oh, this is so nice. He said, being married to Lindsay has been so easy. It feels like we've been married for five minutes. <laughs> That's really nice. They've lived in the same house for 18 years and they don't intend to move. I hope that's kind of how I feel about this house. Like I, I don't think that we'll probably move anytime super soon. It also says that they go geocaching and they found quite a few in the countryside um, in Ireland, which is like amazing. I never, I wish we knew what geocaching was when we went to Ireland, but I don't think we had any idea <laughs> then. So this is the best part. They say that they love ghost podcasts and stuff like that. They love ghost adventures, but it also says, here's a list of things stateside that they don't get in the UK. It says Oreos, mint, 
and ice cream flavors. Cheetos. I can't believe you guys don't get Cheetos. I think that's really bizarre because when we went to England, we brought Cheetos with us for the people that we stayed with. But I, I can't. Why don't you guys get Cheetos? Are they that bad? Like, are they pretty bad? Oh, oh. I love Cheetos too. Um, gumballs, which is weird because we have gumball machines in like every single store ever. Um, sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Dole Whips. Yeah, Dole Whips are delicious. And Mountain Dew. Oh, and Fruit Loops. I used to love me some Mountain Dew. Um, it's very bad for you and you shouldn't drink it, but it is delicious. And Fruit Loops. I don't, I'm just never really a fan of Fruit Loops, but I do like cereal. So. Why? Uh, okay, so in closing, they say thank you for your hard work in making and posting your videos. We watch them every day. We wish you both health, wealth, and most of all, happiness. Also says that next time they're going to tell us about the haunted houses they visited in Ireland. So that's exciting. We can't wait for your next letter. Thank you so much for sending this awesome letter, Steve and Lindsay and, and Lottie. Thank you so much. This next one's from Nick. And he says, greetings from Arizona. And he wanted to send a rock to our rock garden, but the post office said, no, you can't do that because it could be evidence in a murder case what? or used as a weapon. Are you serious? Yeah. And so oh my God. he decided to send a picture of a rock? the rock instead. That's, I love <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Howdy from the middle of nowhere in Arizona. And then he says, isn't it interesting how it can be nowhere, no, where, or now here. Oh, yeah. Which is pretty fun. Yeah. And then he also sent us another one that just says Arizona, which is a, is a very beautiful picture of like this crazy storm, cactuses, and lightning. And he says, uh, love the videos, keep them up. I don't know if my other letter got there yet. And I don't know if he's talking about this letter or another letter. We'll keep you posted, Nick. Uh, and he's a high schooler, class of 2015 in the house. He didn't say in the house, that's me saying that. <laughs> uh, and then he says- You know why? Because a high schooler wouldn't actually use those words. I know, <laughs> I'm old. And he says uh, him and his family watch us every day because that's it awesome. helps them feel like they're on vacation. Oh. He says, what's our favorite superhero? Favorite ever, Deadpool. He's not a superhero. Yeah, he is. Pick another one. He's like, he is like the superest hero of all. He has every single power. Uh, Deadpool is a mercenary, so this is not a superhero. Why can't he be both? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> why, really, why can't he be um, both? I, he said, Nick says that his favorite is The Flash. I'm gonna go with, I wanted to go with, uh, here's my conundrum. So I wanted to go with, with Wolverine because I like Wolverine's powers. But he's They're not, way cool. he's bad. He's, he's not, not a superhero, right. That's what mutant. I'm saying. He's, uh, no, it's not, the thing that doesn't make him a superhero isn't the fact his mutant powers, it's, uh, his his mind. He's not really like a good guy. He is sort of. I like how you turned into like he, Jean Grey. He turned into Christopher. He's not really a good guy. <laughs> yeah. So he's not really a good guy, but only when it comes to Jean Grey, because then he's like really nice, because he wants to be with Jean Grey. But uh, so I had to pick like uh, Iron Man or Batman, because they don't really have superpowers. Iron Man they're... is not a good guy. He is. Is he? Yeah, he's just just an alcoholic. Well, I don't understand this whole superhero thing. <laughs> he, uh, but no, he helps everybody out. That makes him a good guy. So does Fine, then, then we'll go with Batman. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Nick, for all your postcards and most of all, this rock. picture of the rock. That is awesome. I wish that I could put this outside in our rock garden. I know, me too. <laughs> Maybe we'll go get it laminated and put it in the rock garden. We should. That would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. This next letter is from Indiana, which is a really awesome name, by the way. I really, I really like that. Um, Indiana is 12 years old. They live in Texas. It says, me and my family think y'all are awesome. Thank you. We appreciate that. We went to Disney World in the summer of 2010 and watching you brings back great memories. I like Tim's stash and I hope to grow one myself. I also like the energy Jen brings to the videos. Thanks. Thank you. That's so nice. I like to draw and I like to play video games. I like Star Wars, Doctor Who, which you should totally watch. Yes, we should totally watch it. And we will. We will watch it. Um, and Harry Potter. I made you finger puppets of yourselves and the dogs. Where do I put my finger? Oh, like here, okay. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Yeah. This is awesome. Hey, Tim. Hey, Jen. I really like your sunglasses. Yes, I like your face. Oh, oh. Oh, they love each other. Thank you so much, Indiana. And the dogs. <laughs> Thank you, that's awesome. 
This next one's from Jessica, and she sent us from uh, Long Beach Island, New Jersey. And she wanted to say that this postcard is the shack, or grandma's house, as it's known by her family. But sadly, it's not there anymore because of Hurricane Sandy. Oh. Uh, destroyed it. She says that this is one of the last remaining things of the shack, or the little postcards. She also sent us some seashells and a rock from Long Beach Island. Oh, nice. And she said that these were all from before Hurricane Sandy came through. Oh, man. So that's pretty neat. They're like perfect so, seashells, too. Yeah, they are. She says that she found our videos from looking for Disney stuff. She actually was so excited to go to Disney that she tried to convince her parents by making a PowerPoint presentation, <laughs> which that is amazing. <laughs> That's such a good idea. But unfortunately it didn't work. It didn't work. No, but she is still coming down here in 2015 because they come down for a teacher's convention, which we have a lot of conventions in town, so that's how that worked out. That's pretty nice. The reason that she sent us a postcard from Long Beach Island is that that's her family's uh, yearly vacation spot, and there's a small amusement park on the island that they've been going to ever since forever. And after years of saving up arcade points, she had enough to win a Wii U, which is amazing. If you ask me. Oh, and then she has a puppy named Nico who's three years old. Hi, Bandit and Armani. Nico says hi. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jessica. This was an amazing letter and uh, postcard. And thank you so much for the shells and rock. Oh, and thank you, Jessica, for the, your, your picture that you drew of Toothless. This thing is awesome. This next letter is from Ben. He is from Laguna Beach, California. He'd like to thank us for making our videos. It's helped him through many tough times. You're welcome. We enjoy making the videos and it helps us through tough times too. So we're glad that it helps you and that you enjoy them. That's awesome. Um, he says his dad's job causes him to have to move a lot. So he has to move schools and he's not the best at adjusting to new places. But it says when he's having a bad day, our videos are always there for him, which is so awesome. That's really nice. It says that the past few years that he's lived in California, close to Disneyland. So he convinced his dad um, if he did a, some, some tours around the house that he would get an annual pass to Disneyland, which he did. He said that not fitting in at school didn't seem to matter anymore because he made so many friends at Disneyland through pin trading. These little pieces of metal changed his life a lot more than anything else in my life. So the pin trading pouch that he sent us are a few of his first pins that he got through pin trading because we helped him as much as the pins did. That's so nice. Like, wow. And he said that he's moving to Tennessee now and he'll be away from Disney, which stinks. But at least he'll have our videos to look forward to. That is so nice. I'm so sorry that you have to move so much. That can't be easy. But thank you so much for um, giving us your story and sending us some pins. Look at these pins, you guys. These are so cool. So this one is Francis's Ladybug Boogie. And this one is Nemo. And it's like a little Vinylmation pen. And... We are honorary citizens of Disneyland. This is like the best. I love this. This is awesome. Oh, he also ventured into photography while he was in California, so he'll send some prints in the future. Thank you so much, Ben, for sending the letter and the pins. We really appreciate it. This next one is from TJ. I've been watching you since, well, a long time. He says that in the envelope are two custom Lego minifigs that he made. This one's me and this one's Jen. I think I'm wearing that exact same outfit in my other one. Oh, yeah. That's um, really funny. And then he says, I wrote a fan fiction about Tim losing his mustache. Note, this was before I shaved my beard. And he would really like it if we read it out loud. He has a YouTube channel called Blue Geef. So, awesome. Thank you, TJ. I'm going to try to read through this really fast, okay? This is the Tim Trager family in I Must Ask You a Question. <laughs> On a regular day in regular Orlando, Tim, the best vlogger in the world, was doing his vlog when all of a sudden his roof was torn off by a giant mustache. As Tim aimed his camera at it, giant hairs came down and tied him up. Tim said the mustache, you are not trimmed or shaved your mustache in a year. You have a choice. You can shave or your mustache will be gone and you'll lose the ability to grow one. Never, I promised my viewers I would not shave until 2014, said Tim. Okay, well then lose your mustache forever. Tim ran and looked in the mirror and his top lip was bare as a baby's bottom. <laughs> no, Tim yelled as the giant mustache flew away. Jen walked in and gasped at Tim's bare lip. What was that, Jen yelled. I don't know, said Tim, and Jen untied him. He told Jen the story. Both Jen and Tim hopped in the car and followed the giant stash. They followed it to Universal and they ran into <laughs> Universal. But all of the ghouls from Halloween Horror Nights 23 were out. But they were real. Tim found a pole from a construction and killed them all. They ran and followed the stash to the mummy roller coaster. They walked onto the ride and it began. They rode the ride, but instead of scarabs, there were mustache hairs. And all of a sudden the ride stopped. 
and the lap bars released and Tim and Jen got out and walked all the way until the launch pads. They were in the dark room. Then the room was light and the mustache was there. Jen and Tim, I haven't been expecting you. What do you want with my mustache, yelled Tim. You see, when I was a young nose hair, <laughs> I was always picked at literally and no one loved me. So if I gathered every mustache in the world, I would become the biggest, most powerful mustache in the world. Not if I have anything to do with it, said Tim and Jen in unison as they pulled out MIB guns and they shot rapid fire at the stash. After a little combat, Tim finally killed the stash. And as that happened, the stash exploded and Tim's face was fuzzy again. And they went on with their life. The end. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you, TJ. And thank you for the, the Lego minifigs. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I was holding yours backwards. Sorry. <laughs> this postcard is from Legoland Windsor Resort. These Legos are pretty awesome. There's like some 80s like hair metal Legos and some like French artist Legos. This is from Becky, Rob, and Isabel. And it says, I hope you got the letter we sent a week or so. And we did, thank you so much. Um, we went to Legoland today, so we thought we would send you a postcard. Also, we found this cool magnet that we thought you might like. Have you been to Legoland in Florida? We took Isabel for the first time today and she loved it. Uh, we have not been to Legoland in Florida because it is very expensive, but this is an awesome magnet. Like, I'm pretty sure this is just Lego versions of everything, really? Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. It looks very real. You almost can't tell that it's Legos. That's awesome. Thank you, Becky, Rob, and Isabel. So this next one's from Mike. They sent us this thing from Threadless. I pulled this out first and I was reading through it and I'm pretty excited to see it because the description is Funkalicious. Oh yeah. It says, uh, I've been watching your vlog for about a year now and I started my own vlog. I'm going to send other stuff, but I thought I'd start with this shirt for now. Ooh, a shirt. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, look. Look at this sweet. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it's like it's like a bebop in uh, like Spaceman. That was so cool. That is amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much for this shirt, Mike. I am going to wear this darn shirt all the time. It is amazing. I'm going to steal it. Oh no. <laughs> this next one is from Dallas in Minnesota. I don't I don't see a, a little thing in here, but check this out, guys. Yeah. This is it. That's the actual Lego this shirt. This is the actual Lego shirt. <laughs> That's awesome. It's like a ringer and everything. So uh, if, previously on the mail vlogs, somebody sent us a Lego minifigure that looked exactly like me, and he was wearing this shirt. And, and Tim this said, is the exact shirt. Yeah. And this is amazing. So thank you very much, Dallas. This is awesome. Now I have two awesome shirts to wear. You have a bunch of awesome shirts to wear. Well, two more awesome shirts. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sweet, thank you. This next letter is from Ethan. He's 13 and he lives in Florida. He loves to play video games. He loves watching our vlogs because it gets very boring where he lives. He says our vlogs are always exciting even when we're just eating food or sitting around. <laughs> um, which is awesome. That's like a really nice thing to say because that usually isn't very fun to watch. Oh, he wishes to grow a mustache like yours one day. He was contemplating growing a beard, but he decided against it because he doesn't want to clean it all the time, which that's probably a good choice. Oh, he's never written a letter to people before and actually mailed it in the mailbox, which is exciting because in this day and age, a lot of people just use email. So I think it's really cool that people are sending us snail mail. He wants to know if we play any video games. I don't really play any video games. What do you play? I mean, it's been a long time since I played a video game. I think the last one that I played was Last of Us. He said, anyway, after nerding out for a little bit, let's get back on track or... <laughs> oh, okay. He's only been to Universal once before. It was last August. His favorite rides are Spider-Man and Dudley Do rides Ripsaw Falls. He's never been to Disney though, he said. His mom was using the excuse that Disney is really for kids. And I don't think that's true at all. I think Disney is for all ages. Like there's something for everybody, which is what makes Disney so exciting. So I hope you get to go to Disney at some point because it's a really good time. He said he decided to enclose a present and it is two chocolate bars. Yum, thank you so much for the chocolate and the, the wonderful letter. It was really nice to get to know you a little bit better. This next letter is from Charlotte and she's been watching for six months. She says she hopes she likes the gift because she started watching after we just moved into this house. And uh, she said she wanted to give us something for her house and she made it herself. She oh. made this herself. And it, it has a little tag here. It says handmade with love. Oh, that's that so is cute. awesome. Thank you very much, Charlotte. She says she's a regular visitor to Orlando and she'll hopefully be coming back in March. She hopes to bump into us, which if you guys are ever wondering when we're at the parks, keep an eye on our Twitter because we usually post when we're at the parks. She's 28 years old. She's a healthcare assistant in a, a little town just outside of London. That's awesome. 
She has a partner called Leroy, and but he was check this out. He was born in Zimbabwe, but he grew up in West Virginia. Oh wow! And his mom lives in New Jersey. How funny! And his sister lives in Michigan. Oh man! And so uh, they're very familiar with the American way of living. That's awesome. And she says, hopefully you like the gifts. And we do. This is awesome. Thank you very much, Charlotte. Check out this postcard. It says here, dear Tim and Jen, greetings from Kirkens. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but Norway, Kirkenes is only a few miles from the Russian border. Wow, that's crazy. We are looking forward to going to Orlando in October. You're awesome, guys. Thank you. It's from Rita, Paul, and Jake. Thank you so much. Um, they also sent us some really fun stuff. We got a Norwegian and Russian shot glass. This is like a really nice shot glass. Um, wow, thank you. We also got a rock. It's This is like a really nice pebble too. It's really smooth. This is pretty fun. They mailed a dress. I'm guessing this is for me. It could be for Tim, I don't know. But check it out, and it's orange. This is pretty fun. We're gonna have to go out for like a night on the town so I can wear my new orange dress. Thank you so much. This is so cool. I, I don't have a dress like this, so I will definitely have to find a special occasion so that I can wear it out. They also mailed some chocolate, and I'm not really sure what this says, but it's Top Reese. And then this one is called Peanut. So I think this one's peanut butter. Um, but check it out. Doesn't that look so good? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Rita, Paul, and Jake. This is awesome. Thank you. This next one is from Lisa and her family. Greetings from Brighton. It says that we make her family's day. Of course, they discovered us by looking up Orlando, but they're sad because they looked us up after they got back from Orlando. They mm -hmm. said that uh, if they had found us before, then they wouldn't have missed all the hidden gems. Uh, sending a small package with treats in it, English treats, which is funny because when you guys send stuff from England, you have to declare it with customs, and on here she just says, Sweets and treats. No. Yeah. Which is great. The postcard is from the famous Royal Pavilion, which King George IV, Prince of Wales, had built, and he kept a mistress in a nearby building to which he visited via underground tunnels to avoid scandal. That's exciting. Can you, like, go in the underground tunnels? Because I would like to see that. I'd like to go and do his scandalous mistress tunnels. Me and the bean are just hanging out while you're looking through the mail. La, la, la. <laughs> this is awesome. It's a milk chocolate mustache. Yum. Yeah. And then she also sent us some rhubarb and custard gummies, some shrimps, milk bottles, some tea bags for Jen. And then she sent you these too. It says to tea or not to tea. That is the question. And then it's like a little matchbook of nail files. Perfect. Thank you very much, Lisa. This is all awesome. Yeah, thank you. This next letter comes all the way from New York City and is from John, Jerry, Aaron, and Matthew. They started watching our vlogs when we did the Not So Scary Halloween Party from Disney, and they said they've been hooked ever since. They sent us a couple of postcards from New York City and some rocks. So here are the postcards, and it says, wish we were there. Oh, in the city, I guess? Or do they wish they were in Florida? I think I they know. wish they were here in Florida. I don't, oh. Oh, I'd love to be in the city. Like we went to New York City, but because we had a layover, so it was for such a short time, we didn't get to really like visit the city. So I would like to do that one day. They also sent us some rocks for our rock garden. They sent us a couple that were from their backyard. There's the other one. And then some small ones from the beach that they have in a bag here. Um, so that's awesome. Thank you so much. They are going to be on vacation at Disney World. Oh, but we missed the date. So I hope you had fun at Disney World. Sorry our mail vlog is so late. <laughs> Thank you so much, John, Jerry, Aaron, and Matthew for sending these fun postcards and the rocks for our rock garden. Thank you. This next one's from Tina and Baz and uh, Bandit got excited because there's Look, dog toys in it. Like... And like he knew what was up. Look at him. He's like staring it down right now. Do you want it? He does want it. Oh, good boy, Bean. They say, thank you for reading our postcard. It was one that we got before. And they sent uh, us and our pooches some goodies. They say that they hope that we enjoy the chocolate. And we will. Look at this. The wow. Mouth. The Kendall Mint Cake is from Kendall near Windermere, which is actually kind of funny because Win there's a Windermere here in Florida, just outside of Orlando. Windermere is famous for Beatrix Potter, who wrote Peter Rabbit. Oh. She saved a lot of the countryside and left it to the National Trust. I had those books growing up. Yeah, me too. So they say that they also are close to Lancaster, which is famous for the trial of the Pendle Witches. 
Ooh. Oh, we should Google it. They said that if we ever come to the Northwest UK that they would show us around, which oh, is awesome. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. They wanted us to give a little shout out to Twisted Miniatures. It is a business of her and her sisters. They said they sell a fair bit to the USA and they love America. So go check them out on Twitter. And they wanted to know if we're going to Halloween Horror Nights in October. Of course we are. Yeah, we wouldn't miss it. Thank you very much, Tina and Baz. Bandit, do you want your dog toy from Tina and Baz? Oh, look at him. He loves it. Oh, no. He's going to try to rip it apart. Oh, no. He wants to take it to, like, his secret lair under the table so he can kill it. This package is from Jeanette and Kirsten. She says that she wants to let us know how much she enjoys our YouTube channel. She has a very stressful job, and turning on the Tim Tracker at night helps to relieve stress. She says, you make me laugh, and I like your personalities. Um, thank you so much. That's really nice. She loves the dogs. She's got three dogs and a parrot. So this is Molly, Simon, and Sammy. And when she took the picture, Sammy and Simon were howling. Hmm? <laughs> That's awesome. This necklace that she sent us has ash from Mount St. Helen in it. Um, and it erupted in 1980. She lives 40 miles from Mount St. Helen and 50 miles on the other side is Mount Hood. Um, she can see them both on a clear day. That's got to be so cool to be able to see mountains like from your house. Like we, one time we had clouds that kind of look like mountains and I called Tim at work and I was like, look, this kind of looks like mountains in the distance, but it was like a storm. So um, they have lots of wildlife. Uh, one time they had 25 raccoons coming into her back deck looking for food. She sent a picture of a raccoon like eating food from her um, deck. And then here's another picture that she sent of a raccoon. And it says, Mama Raccoon had three babies under the deck. Oh, I love raccoons. They're so cute. It says, most are not really wild and are not afraid of people. They get a lot of deer and occasionally a bobcat. That's awesome. Portland, Oregon is across the river and they're famous for all their home brews and breweries. She doesn't drink beer, so she doesn't know how these taste, but she sent us um, Rainier Mountain Fresh Beer, which this one actually opened, so we had to pour it into a glass. Yeah, we're real quick drinking it. This one is a Pacific Ale. I think it's called Sweet As. Not totally sure, but this can is really cool. Um, and then this one is so exciting, I wanna drink this one. It's Lawnmower Lager, and I love it. It's like a lawnmower in a cauldron. Um, it looks awesome, though. I'm thinking it's very hoppy. Those are hop plants, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, the rock that she sent us, which is actually like a really pretty, it almost looks like a gem. Like the, what are they called when they're like rocks with shiny stuff inside? What? They're still just called rocks. No, you know how they like have like- Like a mineral? No, like when you open it up and it's like a purple- Oh, like a geode? Yeah, it kind of looks like it would be a geode. The rock that she sent is from Dugan Falls, or is that an S? I'm not sure if that's Dus- Dustin. Oh, I don't know what it says. I'm really sorry, but it's from uh, a falls. It's 25 minutes away. I think it has what is called mica flakes in it. Oh, okay. So that's why it's like really shiny. She's also sending a, Ra a Rainier beer. She doesn't believe that they sell it outside of Washington state. So that's cool that we get to try it. And she said, hope to meet you someday. Your friends, Jeanette and Kirsten. But she sent this fun little pouch and I put the necklace in there. And then also some more dog toys. And these are good because they don't have any fluff in them. So... That's good because Bandit tends to try to eat all the fluff. So we got a raccoon. Oh, look, raccoon friend. And a rabbit. Yay. <laughs> Bandit's still playing with the other toy. Yay. They're, they're awesome. Thank you. I love these. Oh, I think I was supposed to read the postcards first. I'm so sorry. It says, her name is Jeanette. She lives in Washington. She's like diagonal from Florida, which is funny. Her daughter, Kirsten, um, they watch the vlogs daily. They love us and they love being in Armani. <laughs> Uh, they visit the theme parks in Orlando two times a year, and they love staying at the Royal Pacific. You never know, you might see us at the parks whenever you go. We we tend to be there kind of a lot. Camas, Cam Camas, I'm not totally sure, is a smaller town 12 miles down the Columbia River from Vancouver and Portland. We're very green here and we get lots of rain. Florida has alligators and we have raccoon and deer. So that's awesome, very cool. Almost forgot about this, um, Jeanette and Kirsten sent us a really cool wind chime. I'm gonna have to untangle this because it was definitely tangled in the mail. Um, but once I get it untangled, we'll put it outside. I can't wait to hear it. Thank you so much for this awesome package, Jeanette and Kirsten. And um, we're so happy that you like the vlogs. Thank you. This next one's from Dan from Melbourne, Australia. Said he stumbled upon our vlog about a year ago 
And ever since then, he's been a daily viewer. Oh, nice. Says that he's been to the States a few times, but never to Florida, but OE definitely sold him on it, which is awesome. And he says he noticed that we get a lot of British stuff, but nothing from Australia. He sent us some Violet Crumble, which I thought was pretty interesting because it says it's the way it shatters that matters. And it's like, this is like the lightest candy bar I've ever felt in my life. I can't wait to eat all the candy. He also sent us these sweet Cadbury guys. He's got like a little koala guy and a little frog guy, caramello koala. He also sent us these things that are called cherry ripes. And this one's a dark chocolate ganache and this one's just a regular one. I'm pretty excited to try these because we don't really do a lot of cherry chocolates over here. Yeah. And the last thing. Oh no. He told me that on, I think in the YouTube comments, he told me that he was sending over some Vegemite and he's like, I don't know if you've had any, but it's delicious. But maybe I'll try it again and I just did it wrong or something. You're supposed to put it on butter and toast, but I don't know. Thank you very much, Dan. This is an awesome package. This next package is from Jackie. She lives in Southern California with her daughter, Emma, and her boyfriend, Johnny. She has lived there for five years, but she grew up in the city of Pasadena, which is where the Rose Parade is. Um, that, it, like, when they do the Rose Bowl, the Rose Parade, that's where they do it. And it says that she's pretty centralized to most of the popular tourist attractions like Hollywood, Disneyland, and all of that. Um, she said, have we ever been out this way? And we have been to Southern California, but we have not been to any of the theme parks or any attractions while we were there, unfortunately. So we'll definitely have to go back. She's been to Orlando once in 2013, and they had so much fun. They were there during the Flower and Garden Festival, which they hadn't heard of, but then they loved it when once they um, were there. She was searching for videos on YouTube and came across one from Attractions Magazine. They were at Playlist Live and Patrick was interviewing a couple who did daily vlogs. And you guys were on the video and I watched it about the Food and Wine Festival and I've been watching you ever since. That's awesome. Oh, then she goes on to talk about the Trader Joe's madness and she said that she sent over some of her favorite Trader Joe's snacks. She said, they're mostly chocolate, but just like you, I love chocolate and ice cream. <laughs> we'll be best friends then. <laughs> um, she's also a big Disney fan. She's had an annual pass for the last 10 years. That's awesome. Um, she's been taking her daughter since she was six weeks old. Aw, they go one to two times a month. I wish we could go that often. They also have Universal Studios passes. She's excited because they're getting the Harry Potter expansion in 2016. And she's loving our Harry Potter videos. She's going the first week of November. What do we think? you'll probably be okay because that's like, that's after Halloween Horror Nights. So I think the crowds will have died down a little bit. So I think you'll be okay. She had to laugh when I wet the girl on accident when I was activating the wand under the umbrella. Um, and then Tim said, she's a wizard. <laughs> that's awesome. She said when she goes to the parks, she'll pick us up some maps. Oh, that'd be really cool. Um, so she sent over a really, this is actually a really cool magnet from Pasadena. She also mailed over some organic fruit snacks from Trader Joe's. So that's pretty cool. We're going to be like totally stocked up on fruit snacks. Thank you. And this I'm actually really excited for. It's chocolate covered sunflower seeds. That sounds really good. This also looks delicious. It's milk chocolate covered toffee popcorn. Yum. And some brioche toasts for when we're feeling very fancy. Tuscan Italian dressing with balsamic vinegar. This sounds really good. Milk chocolate crisps. Look how delicious. Whoa. I think these are Pringles. Don't they look like Pringles? That looks really good. Yeah, they look so good. I can't wait to eat those. This is really weird and kind of exciting. It's milk chocolate with creamy peanut butter and tart raspberry jelly, and it's a PB&J chocolate bar. Oh, those look good too. I've never heard of these, but they look like really interesting. Some cookie and cocoa swirl, which I mean, what we're just going to gain. This is amazing. We're going to gain like 50 pounds just from this box alone. <laughs> oh, okay. See, I thought she was saying she got a tattoo of her daughter jumping in front of the castle. But I think what she was saying was she sent us a picture of her tattoo and a picture of her daughter jumping oh, like at the castle. So now I understand. Your tattoo is very cute though. I like that a lot. And you guys are adorable. Oh, and then she also sent us a map of old LA and it's got like some cool points of interest to check out. So the next time we're over that way, uh, we will definitely do that. And I don't think we've been to any of these places. There's a Grauman's Egyptian theater and a Grauman's Chinese theater. Huh, 
That's awesome, thank you so much. These are the kinds of things that we like for when we plan our next trips. Thank you so much, Jackie, Emma, and Johnny. This is so great. I, we're never gonna need to go grocery shopping again. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this next package says, Hi, Jen and Tim. We're visiting from Northern Ireland. We've loved watching your vlogs while planning our trip. So we thought we would send you a little bit of Ireland. We have included some postcards, the essential fridge magnet to add to your collection. Thank you for sharing your life with us and have a great 4th of July. And I'm really sorry, but I don't know what your names are. I am so, so sorry. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna put it on the screen. So thank you guys so much for sending everything. This is amazing. Um, they sent over some really cool postcards from Belfast that are just like really cool things that I wish that we had seen um, when we were in Ireland, but we actually didn't go to the north of Ireland because when we were there, there was some like political stuff going on. So we weren't able to go very far north um, but I would have loved to have seen the Giant's Causeway and the Titanic Center. I mean, this rope bridge thing looks awesome. Um, all of it, the peace statue, that, that looks, I mean, like I would love to have seen all of this. So I think we're gonna have to plan a trip back so that we can see everything that we missed. They also sent us this really cool magnet from Belfast. I love it, it looks like a, like a street sign or like a motorway sign maybe. Tim got an awesome Titanic like admission t-shirt. This is his boarding pass to the Titanic. That's pretty neat. Yeah, isn't this like really nice? So it says where the crake is mighty. Awesome. I love it. Thank you. And we got a really cool keychain and it has a lucky old Irish penny in it. And a reusable bag. And the coolest thing about this bag is that it has a zipper on the top. Ours don't do that here. That's such a good idea. Brilliant. Thank you guys so much for sending over this awesome stuff and we hope that you guys had a really great trip while you were over here. So this one is from Chris and Allison and they say, first of all, happy Diagon Alley Day because they wrote this on July 8th when we were standing in line at 5 a.m. Uh -huh. She says, my name is Allison and I live with my husband of seven years, Chris, and our two fur children, Sierra and Fontana. Ooh. By the way, Sierra and Fontana are great names. Yeah, I love those. They're lovable golden retrievers. By the way, are there any golden retrievers that are not lovable? They found us about a year and a half ago searching for Disney and Universal, and they wanted to relive some memories of their honeymoon. That's super fun. Aww. They went to their theme parks, and on their days off, they went to the Daytona 500. And she said, yep, that's right, I'm a NASCAR fan. Oh, nice. That is awesome. We want to go to the Daytona 500 one day because that's like one of the things on all the news lists and stuff they're like top 10 things you do before you die and it's like daytona 500 so we have to go do that only if we can sit in the middle yeah you got to sit in the infield yeah. on top of an rv yes she likes to watch us when she gets home from work she says she sent us some goodies from california adventure and hollywood studios uh she lives about 20 minutes outside of pasadena where the rose parade is from that's the second person oh, today man. that says something about the rose parade how funny they're yeah. probably neighbors she loves disney although she does love universal because the passes are a lot cheaper than disney she's also excited because they're getting their own harry potter land yeah which is great i can't wait to see what the california one's gonna look like and she says i'm gonna cut this letter short so you guys don't have such long export times on your mail blog oh <laughs> that's awesome thank, thank you. you thank you thank you for thinking of me because i'm gonna be editing this for at least three hours <laughs> She says, if you want, you can follow her on Instagram at Sierra Fontana. Uh, she always posts pictures of the parks in California. Oh, cool. So she sent us all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, she sent us a TARDIS mug because she saw my shirt. You know, my shirt that has the TARDIS and the DeLorean running into it. She says she's a Whovian, so she sent us a TARDIS mug. Oh, cool. Which is awesome. She sent us a, uh, a Homer mug or a donut mug. But unfortunately, it broke in the mail. It broke in the mail. It was so shattered when we opened the box, and I was very sad about it because this is such a cool mug. Look, it says mmm carbs. <laughs> but I am gonna glue it back together, so hopefully it'll still hold liquid. The other stuff that she sent us was she sent Jen this lovely tanky top. Yeah, look, it's from Radiator Springs. It's yeah. so cool. I'm like, I'm so excited to wear this. I'm gonna wear it when we go to Disney. And then Cute. she sent me. A shirt also from Radiator Springs. Yeah, that's awesome. Right? It says Ornament Valley, Radiator Springs. Very cool. That is awesome. And then... I, that's one thing that I wish we had here. Oh, Radiator Springs? Yeah. Yeah. And then last but not least, oh yeah, a beach oh, towel that's from awesome. uh, Cars. 
Oh my gosh, how cool. Which is awesome. That's my, this is my favorite part right here is Tomator. And then she sent us a magnet for Radiator Springs for our refrigerator. She sent us a postcard from Cars Land. And then you've got uh, Lightning and Tomator. Thank you very much, Allison and Chris. Make sure that you say hello to Sierra and Fontana for us. So this next one is from Ashley. Uh, they say, I'm 21 years old. I live in Southwest London. Came across our channel looking for Universal Studios stuff. Hope you enjoy the few things that I have sent. We plan on coming back 2015. This has been a few years. I'd love to meet you guys and buy you both a few beers. Yeah. I do have a YouTube channel where I do film and live music. It's youtube.com slash ashheck. So A-S-H-E-C. Thank you for the amazing videos. Keep it coming, Ashley Leslie. Oh, all right. Thank you guys. This is the London Bridge. They sent us a tube map of London. Oh, cool. Which is way cool because uh, the last time that we were in London, we had a hard time. Oh, we had like the worst time. It was terrible. Yeah. We had to get a security guard to help us <laughs> in know. the tube. Tourists. And then they sent us the London Evening Standard. And then they also sent us four Boddingtons. They sent us a ton. Oh my gosh, I mean, look at all the Nando's. So they sent us the Peri Peri sauce in medium. They also sent us the marinade in smoky Portuguese. I've never heard of this one, but it sounds really good. Medium, which was my favorite. And then the garlic, which is also my favorite. They sent us so much good Nando stuff. And, and this we haven't ever had before. Oh yeah, this is a coat and cook. It's like a liquid and I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, and then they sent us two packages of medium. Yeah. that's your favorite. Well, it's medium barbecue. That's good. Ooh, even so, better. Yeah. They sent us a sweet fridge magnet that is also a bottle opener. Yeah. They sent us this rock This rock is rock garden. Well, and look how crazy it is. Show it the other way. It looks like a dinosaur egg. I'm fairly certain that they sent us a dinosaur egg. Ooh. Possibly. Oh, and look at this fun little, like, gnome that we got. We can put this in our garden. And he has on, like, little, little furry boots. Boots with the fur. Yeah. And, and then they sent us two galaxy things surprisingly did not melt i know i can't believe it did which melt. is crazy because galaxy galaxy chocolate usually melts first and then this we've never heard of and it looks like i guess it's gonna look like that where it's like ribbons Ooh. I'll take it. well thank you very much ashley this is amazing this is so awesome i can't wait to have all the nandos forever in the whole world i can't wait <laughs> to put our rocks in our rock garden oh yeah so many rocks Thank you guys for sending us all of the stuff. It was amazing. Yeah, we loved it. Thank you. It's Crazy. amazing. You guys don't have to do all that. We just like postcards. Yeah. But thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you guys. so much. You're awesome. We forgot to show it to you guys, but they, uh, Ashley also sent us a dog toy for Bandit, and we threw it off to Bandit, and he's already hard at work destroying it. But you know that he likes it.